Hi again. So as you already know, as I do, these are unusual, unprecedented times. We could describe them so many ways already. I think the most important thing that we could acknowledge at this point is that we're living in between times and in between worlds. Um, the old ways and times are deconstructing so that um, new times and new ways within a new world can emerge. And however disconcerting that sounds, um, that's just the way things are done in this kind of world. This kind of a world is a 3D world, a 3D world um, that has form, beliefs, things that are concrete, things that are built above the ground that are meant to be solid, that are meant to last for a time, a generation, uh, an era. And when it's time for them to change and become something else, the only way to do that in these kinds of worlds is to dismantle them piece by piece into their more aggregate form or all of the different original pieces, original elements that built these things together. We are also that, we are that form. We also break down to aggregate elements, minerals, um, water, everything within us also breaks down as we know or sometimes don't want to um, acknowledge. So these also then need to, in their own way, be dismantled. In our case, that is happening while we are alive, while we're in body, while we're going about our days and our business and the roles that we play. And while we would be hard pressed to say, oh, oh, so this is what transformation looks like. Instead, we say, what the hell is going on? And please make it stop. But the process itself is a natural process for these kinds of beings and bodies and worlds. And so we might not be able to name it completely. We might not be able to call it transformation, but we can describe what it feels like. So it feels disorienting, uncomfortable. I think most of us are now familiar with the term brain fog, and uh, we have known it personally at one time or another. And you know, it seems like almost every week I find a new, a new favorite description for this, this time or circumstance that we're in. And I think my favorite one this week, um, something, it goes something like, it's like, our, it's like our GPS claims that our destination doesn't exist, but our old fashioned fold up street map is obsolete and doesn't exist either. So there we are in between the two. Um, we'll see what my favorite one is next week. Anyway, given that, given that this is what's happening, we really have no other choice after we're done um, complaining and stomping our feet and sharing with our friends and complaining to our friends. We really have no other choice other than to figure out how to navigate and tolerate situations whose outcomes we could say at least are not assured. I used to use the word uncertain, but now it's become one of those words that is so overused that I can't stand it anymore. So, um, you know, nothing was ever really certain. We just believed and trusted that it was. We believed in certain outcomes. And since most of the time they turned out that way, we thought that those outcomes were certain or assured. So now we have to take a different path and we have to learn, relearn to trust ourselves. And once we do that, we have to relearn how to trust each other because we're not doing a great job of that either. So there's a few ways to do that. And the ways that I know are old ways, the old ways of the old gods and the old 
traditions and the nature paths, and they work because nature is always nature and has always been our companion. The earth is always our mother, is always our companion. So those ways can be summoned from wherever it is that they have come to rest. And this fall, I think I'll be talking to you about that, maybe inviting you to share some of those old ways um, with me. Sometimes they involve observing um, inner signs and symbols and responses. And sometimes they involved um, the outer world, uh, the artificial world, the natural world, and reading those signs and symbols as well. And then the best thing we can do is to act originally, if we can, or at the very least, at least not act out, <laughs> if at all possible. Um, and there's other things we can do. We can reallocate, redistribute our energy, how we use it, where we allocate it in our body, how much goes to our mind, to our heart, to our vital organs, to our immune system. So we have to learn to reallocate um, our energy. We can establish or reestablish relationships that are not just transactional, not um, quid pro quo, no, I'll do this for you and then you'll do that for me. Not transactional, but um, relationships that exist in reciprocity, a different kind of exchange where mental and physical and emotional energy, again, is just used differently. Uh, integrity is natural. We don't have to look for it or find it or say, oh, I'm acting in integrity um, today. We can also learn, relearn to balance productivity um, with generativity. So a different way to generate from within. So uh, a little bit of like balancing duty with self-expression. That's a, a good way to put it. And we can let our minds relax into the tasks that we are doing that are maybe asked of us as well. We can make incisive rather than decisive decisions. So incisive decisions also are action oriented, but they're more insightful. They're not, uh, they're not so cut and dry. They're not so this is the way it's done. So it comes from a different place within us, an insightful perspective kind of place. And we can also remain vigilant. Um, vigilant just comes from vigil. It means to stay awake. We can stay awake. And if we're awake, if we can just stay awake, we don't have to always be moving forward. Um, we can just be paying attention. So those are a few things we can do today. Now, those are some things that I'm doing. In my earlier video, um, maybe you heard me say that some of the best ways we learn is not only just by example, but by social, um, ex social examples, I suppose, of following or walking side by side each other. So I'm hoping that we can do that. So uh, thank you for sharing this time with me. It always means a lot to me. I know you view these videos after I make them, but um, I love hearing from you. So if you have anything to share or ask, as always, you are welcome, always, in my inbox or video box or wherever you happen to show up. All right, until soon.